Hey everybody, welcome back to Shadows Over Loathing. I'm the Blue Star 2, and last we left off, we've done everything we need to do here in, uh, uh, Gray County, so, it's time to head home. Hi Jessica, I found the sickle. I was, uh, well, there were some bad implications about this whole situation with the shadow monsters and the government? Not that there weren't already, but this is turning out to be a pretty big bite to chew. Hmm, that's disquieting, but it fits in with the readings we're getting from the Detectotron. What kind of readings? I guess I'm asleep, but I'll tell you about them in the morning. I went to look some stuff up first. Get some sleep, she says. Here's a big old cliffhanger, she says. Not the two most compatible ideas. Now this. This is a long... Oh, wait. I can decurse my duck call. Or it turns it back to normal. Time has come. Assassinate. <laughs> Sorry, what? You examine your haunted duck call. It's still haunted, but it seems to have s suffused by the power of that mysterious duck that quacked right out of the, the curse construct. It seems to still do the same thing. I guess it was better off, uh, just cursed. Not that I was ever going to use it again anyway, but this is a long one. You submit the wretched and writhing scythe to the machine, handle first at his customary and polite. The curve of the blade cups your palm, licks at your skin, you shudder. The shadow cast by this thing is long, and it's yawning shade you feel the span of the universe. This one is different. This is the deep magic. There is something about this sickle. What was it used for, perhaps? With your eyes closed, you can almost see it. Long stalks of wheat drifting in the blue moon. The corn folk in a burned circle dancing stripped to the waist up. To the waist. Up. The sickle's up in the air. Oh, you're gonna see, you're gonna see the mystery. Yay. Honk. The machine snorts the curse into its uh, singular domed nostril. It's a good clean sickle now, ready for reaping. In the chair you think you hear chanting and the stomp of dancing feet. The curse of the sickle awaits in the machine and it's preparing for something. Face it. Nick? Ah, hell. Nick was supposed to stay with the car. The roadmap's where he left it, but Nick sure ain't. Start the car. This thing ain't going anywhere on four flats. Engine's fried, too. Damn it. Take the keys, you know. Not like Nick to leave these lying in the ignition. Take the map. You got it for what good it's gonna do you. This field is so far away from anything. Close the door. Pop the trunk. Nick, I swear you better not be in there. There's a spare tire, no jack, and a copy of Terminator on the tape. Watch the Terminator. Get real. Close the trunk without watching the Terminator. The last and only house on the road. Hey, anyone home? I need help. Smith this blade for me. 
I asked him to make a weapon that could kill even you. Am I famously hard to kill? I can go where you will. Now I can find you now wherever you go, Blues, and I will cut you a thousand times until you are dead. That's not my name. You're looking for someone else. Die now. When you wake, you will see me again. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Whoa, what? Look, I'm a conservative gentleman. I like my ham plain and class divides in Trenton Law. But when it comes to winning baseball games, I'll try anything. I'll even even putting in someone who just wandered into the dugout during play. What do you say, rookie? I'm in, coach. And step on up and take bat because it's your first game and it's yours to keep. Huh, I wonder if this could do some damage to the scarecrow. Whatever you do with that bat on your own time is your own business. Right now, I need you to get out there and win this damn game. Real inspiring, thanks. <laughs> Can you help me? Yeah, baby, yeah, who behave? Get away from me. Honestly, baby, I've never heard a flaw. I'm sorry, the number you've dialed is not presently in operation. What numbers can I dial? I'm sorry, no numbers are presently in operation. Well, your phone is mine now. Hi, can you help me with something? Actually, welcome, patron, for this establishment is indeed an antique store, and I, its proprietress, being such, I can ensure the, the, the establishment and its personnel are put to no other person than safe and legal the trade of antique goods. Never mind. I think a scarecrow with a sickle just killed me? A scarecrow? Why, that would be it. Would make an unwelcome assailant and vexing predicament. But how can I be of any assistance being as I am a antique store proprietor and not a farmer or agriculturist? Agri agriculturist. Never mind. Apologies, apologies. How is me I be of subject to this to the, this fine afternoon? No. Ah! I don't want to be here again. Ah! Oh, what's your deal? I feared kid that the dying of this day is mortar. Yeah, I think I just got murdered by a scarecrow. There's bad rot in the woods today. I cannot say whence it came. Me either, I guess. You gotta help me, man. There's a scarecrow with a sickle trying to kill me. Aye. And what sin have you done for such to pass? Uh, sometimes I don't rewind taste before taking him back to the store. You waste your breath in confession. Purification cometh only at the swing of a blade. I only ask, will your crow swing? Swing in the sword, or will I? I think I better be going. Ah! And where am I now? You gotta, please, you, please help, you gotta help me. There's a scarecrow trying to kill me. Isn't that interesting? A killer on the loose and a murderer on, murder on the tr this train. Hardly a coincidence, wouldn't you agree? I don't know. It seems to be the great detective ought to be chasing the killers that are already out there rather than harassing innocent bystanders, wouldn't you agree? Is that an option for me? I can get the detective to chase the scarecrow? Boy, I'd like to build a machine to make that detective see sense, but I'm a wheels man, miss. That's my bag and I'll die in it. Cars, trucks, all that good stuff. Well, anyway, best of luck to you. Wait, I'm not done. Asshole, help! At the eleventh hour, a new suspect enters the picture. Where were you, you madam, at the time of the first murder? I got no idea. Probably being chased by a scarecrow with a sickle. That's an alibi most preposterous. I should insist that you remain in this car until this case is solved. You're the boss. God. Yeah. 
I don't even know. What? Oh god, I don't know. Now to kill a scarecrow? Okay, well, bye. We're having some trouble with our language, I see. Oh, hello. I and Grimhald have but one tongue between them. Two if you count their fists. But I like to make sure I am understood by all I meet. With words, not acts. There's a scarecrow trying to kill me. I do not pretend to have an answer for everything that happens in the world, my friend. Some things I believe happen for a reason. Not me being murdered, though. Ah, but is it murder? Or self-defense? Wait, what do you know? Oh, n not so much. As I said, I do not pretend to have an answer for everything. I gotta go. Ave, barbarian. Ave? What tribe do you hail? Alpha Omnicron Pi? I'll bring you to these parts. Getting chased by a killer scarecrow? Yes, this is a wild part of the world indeed, but do not fear, civilization is coming. And that'll get rid of the scarecrow? I'll certainly civilize him. Anything civilization can do for me now? With respect to the scarecrow issue? No, I would recommend simply waiting. It is better if colonization is done as holistically as possible and not in an ad hoc or piecemeal fashion. Now, you're no help. No. 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 No! No! Yes. I think I took a wrong turn there. Quite the contrary. You and I were fated to meet. Seriously? Why? Time does not ask. It had only moves in a single direction to a single destination. That is this place. Oh. Okay. Do you know why we have met? Oh, it's about my scarecrow issue. It's not your scarecrow issue. You are pursued by a creature whose blade carves up the flesh of reality itself. You must decide how you are to kill it. Am I supposed to do that? The sickle is a powerful blade, but I ask you. What is the one weapon that cannot be bested? Uh... Time? Quite so. And I would also would have accepted entropy. The sickle was a powerful blade for its time. Time, like all tools, it was made obsolete in successive generations. While the scarecrow wields that sickle, he can only be defeated with a more advanced equivalent. Do you follow? Basically. What tool replaced the sickle? The lawnmower. Precisely so. You must build a lawn. I got you. Let's rock. Go! <sighs> Any idea where I can get a lawnmower? A lawnmower? No, I'm critically I'm not familiar with this man. How about a thing that cuts grass? A thing that cuts grass. No, I'm not familiar with this man. You're useless. Bye. Uh, you don't know what a lawnmower is, do you? Fairly forgiving, but I cannot answer the question. The first rule of warfare is that it never admit to anything. <sighs> no. I need to get back to the train. The train! Good grief. You know, I do this enough time, you'd think I'd, uh... I'd, uh, start trying to catch the sickle? Can you maybe get a lawnmower? No. No? Okay. I can make anything with wheels. So, yes. Oh, sure. Will you make me a lawnmower? I'd love to, miss. 
Wheel and axle machines are my bag, but I got a problem. See that detective fingering his mustache at the end of the car? Yes. That washed up gumshoe's got in his head that I did something I didn't even do. A murder. Can you believe it? Murder's not my bag, miss. My bag is wheel and axe machines, as I've told you. It's pretty unlikely that someone would have both wheel and axe machines and murder in one bag, wouldn't you agree? Get to the point. I'd love to make you a lawnmower, but I can't do anything while that man over there is investigating me for murder. See what I can do. Uh, so, uh, how's this case going? Slowly, but I surely am pulling at the string that will lead me through this labyrinth of lies to the murdering Minotaur at the center. What the murderer does not realize is that with this... Whoops. Did... He said, with this string I am making for him or her a noose. So good. So good? You have to think good about murder, ma'am. You look tired. Want to take a break? Be sensible, ma'am. Common criminal longs and lusts for what they call the distracted detective. The critical moment in which I may allow my guard to slip. It must never happen. It cannot happen. Someone tells me that boy didn't do it. No doubt the young man himself who will protest his innocence to anybody with ears, and even those without. But I suspect he knows more than he lets on. Why? Because, my dear, everyone knows more than they let on. Maybe this isn't even a murder. What do you suggest? Natural causes? An accident? Or an act of God? Yeah, like any of those, whichever one you think. I think that this is just one of the pa these passengers who would like us to believe. The question is which one? None. I think none. Boring! This case is boring. Some respect for the dead, please, but I admit this is a routine case. It certainly does not tax the gray cells as... I, I can't do a Belgian accent. He's supposed to be Hercule Poirot. That's what this is. But I don't know how to do a Belgian accent. So there's some past adventures. This is last year's locked room mystery in which a locked room was murdered. But there's nothing a murderer should feel more than a bored detective. For as certainly as the sun sits in the morn, so shall he bring all truths to light. I reckon there's something more interesting than mur some more interesting murders you could solve. Assuredly so. But one that could happen here, now, in this marine car? An unlikely prospect, I think. Please, you have bothered me enough. Allow me to conclude this investigation, and then perhaps I shall turn my mind to your more interesting murders. You're making a mistake, and I will show you what it happened. No. I need to get back to the train again. Back to the train again! The train again! Thank you. But that's not possible. I saw you die. Yeah, weird, huh? How can this happen? How can a person die and return to life? I don't know, man. I can make no sense of it. No, I must insist that you explain yourself. What is this? Some sort of deception? A mystic illusion? I must know. I swear. I must. I swear. I will not rest until I have the truth. It's all above my pay hey, grade, man. Later days. No, come on, that's not fair. I don't think that detective will be bothering you for a little while, anyway. Great stuff, really great stuff. That'll give me plenty of time to make my escape uh, from a uh, wrongful conviction. Now let's talk about your lawnmower. Yes, please. I can make you one, but I'll need some, some parts. Lucky for you, a lawnmower is pretty simple. Just need two blades, two wheels, a good sturdy handle and some sort of metal rod or tube to serve as a roller. Uh -huh, so I go and get all those components from a lawnmower and you do what exactly? What do I do? From a few inert objects I give the lawnmower its get up and go. It's pretty important, wouldn't you agree? Will this work as a handle? No, that's a baseball bat. Yeah, I know, pal. I'm improvising. Well, it's a fine idea. That'll work. But that bat's not long enough to make a handle. I don't have to be back with the parts. Don't wait up. Let's cut to the chase. Huh? I need wheels and you're a wheel guy. It is true I am, as they say in your country, a wheel guy. I think he's actually supposed to be a... Uh... I don't want to try that accent. It'll probably just sound racist. Furthermore, it's true that I can't on board many ex case, two cases of exotic rubber to make new wheels at my factory. And it is true with my automatic expertise. I could probably roll some of that rubber into a little wheel for you. As 
my mother needed dough, but why would I? Because you're a good guy, a good wheeled guy. Wrong, it's because you helped my young friend over there. He's coming to work with me, you know. Together we will do wonderful things with wheels. If you'll need me a wheel or whatever it is, my friend, I've already done it. Can you make me one more? I cannot. This one wheel has used up all in my 19 suitcases of rubber. Wow, that's uh, very, very wasteful. No, when I sell wheels, it is for a lot of money, so I'm not wasting rubber. Oh, thanks, pal. And uh, we can't do anything here. Blech. Or here. Here we can do something. Take the wheel. Take the, take the tape. That better not be blood on the seat. Taste it. Get out of here, that's sick. Close the door. Now I could go in here. But doing so will do something I don't really want to do. Hey, you think I can get that other guy's axe? I don't expect a request. Why? For what purpose? Build an alarm order with Moa, Moa Scarecrow? Uh, is that necessary? As I told you before, I wonder if this sickle is only trying to protect itself. Scarecrow. I didn't say sickle, I said scarecrow. Yes, I spoke an error, forgive me. He tilts it. Excuse me. He tilts it back to the sky and closes his eyes and rests. Guess he's done it with you. Cool, thanks for nothing. You. Agi knows more than you most think. Who's Agi? I am Agi. I speak your tongue. What do you want? I hear your talk with old man. I give you axe if you help Agi, yes? Yeah, sure. Agi needs axe to fight Empire. If Agi have better weapon than, than axe, he no need Empire, understand? Yeah, it's the same thing I'm trying to do with my scarecrow. I'm gonna beat him by getting my hands on a alarm in order to beat his sickle. He just need more advanced technology, right? Slow down. Agi does not understand all words. But advanced technology, this you get? Those are the words you understand? Advanced weapon. Advanced technology weapon for Agi. You get, I give axe. Now this is pretty advanced. For you, no offense. What is, what this? It's a telephonic communication device. Hmm, very advanced. I can kill Empire with this? I think you can do a lot of damage to history with this. Hmm, very advanced. Good, you have axe. I can not need. Thanks, pal. While I'm here, I'm gonna grab this pole. Is he dead or no? He's still moving. Okay, we got an axe from here. We got a pole from here. Nothing we can get from here. Ah. Hey, weird question. Mist and wonder are not thick in woods. Questions trouble me not. Are any of your branches long enough to be a handle for a lawnmower, and if they are, can I have one of your branches? I guess that's two weird questions. Naturally, I have no branches, girl. All that grows belongs to the wood. Totally. So is it okay with the wood if I have one of its branches? Uh, branches? Questions may not trouble me, but Cutter does. Dude with the axe? I cannot give any of myself to any garrows bust in this wood. Cutter. Well, in this wood, Cutter lurkins. That's what all the boys say. Be right back. Sick axe, can I have it? There is no thing unwell in it. It is a healing blade. Right on, but I ask again, can I have it? There's only one cutter in the wood girl, and it is he who is freest of sin. Now I think it's time for she who is freest of sin. He barks a short laugh. That would be a woodcutter. Any in the wood may stand it, but I be decayed, I be careful, Guile. If the wood looks for sin in thee and finds it, there will be no saving thee. Thou shalt not find me wanting. Bring it on us. Ah, shite. Mm. 
Well, howdy there, stranger. Welcome to the store, though I reckon ain't much here to interest a young, nice young gal like yourself. See, we only sell dusty books and swords. Ain't nothing more exciting going on here, no ma'am. Can you help me with the scarecrow that wants to kill me? Well, now, that's a tough one, sure enough. Can't rightly say I know what to do about that, ma'am. See, we, you gotta understand, us cowboys, we a dying breed. We only know one way, and that's the way of the West. All these new technologies and sciences are coming in. Well, I reckon the world's fixing to put us old cowboys out the pasture. West is north now. Say that again? What's what now? We changed west to, to north decades ago. Ah, oh, jeez, ma'am. Why, why'd you go in out to say a thing, thing like that? Are you okay? It really, really ain't no place for the old cowboys no more, huh? Can I get you some water? Oh, God. Read the to-do list. To-do. Open door. Eat cat. Oh, God. Ah. Am I gonna get one of those branches now? Aye. Tis a sin, girl, but there is no cut to punish in me. Is, is there? Yeah, I didn't kill him, though. You saw that, right? You ask questions, girl, but I ask none. The tree, the monster, whatever it is, breaks off a old dang limb. You got a tree branch. Yeah, that ought to work. Now go, and speak in that one word of what has happened. Here today, or there will be new mortar in the woods. Doesn't bother me, pal. I get moitered every 10 to 20 seconds. Yoink. Now I think we need to get back to the train. Back to the train. Back to the train. Back to the train. Train to the back. Train back is getting to. Thank you. And look at those lawnmower parts. Forgot to mention, I don't know how you're gonna find all that stuff on a moving train. Here's a blade, right? No mistake about it. What is that? The train's fire axe? Sure. Let's hope there's no fire, huh? This looks pretty sharp to me. Very much so. I must admit, you're making far more success of this than I expected. You ain't humoring me, are you? You can make me a lawnmower. Wouldn't say that I could if I couldn't. I'm no out of car dunce, contrary to whatever you may have heard. I don't really know what you're talking about. I'm not. Got you a wheel. Wowee. I would say wow wheel. That's a juicy rub wheel worthy of... I don't know. Well, the guy over there at the table, the one who made it, if that's what you mean. Great man. Mind you that I... That, mind that, that you don't. I don't want you running over him with his lawnmower or anything. Don't get that idea. I didn't have that idea until you put it in my head, but no, I wouldn't do that. Take good care of this now. That's a promise. Nothing dearer to me in this world than wheels and the machines that use them. Nothing dearer, no boyfriend, girlfriend. Eh, of course I love my mother, but romance? No, ma'am, I'm married to my work. And if you're married to your work, you don't work a day in your life. Is this a good handle? Is it? That's what I'm asking you. I'm being rhetorical. Yes, this will be a fine handle, I'm alright. Just need to chop it up and put it together in the right shape. If the branches start screaming, don't worry. Ever do. Is this rule enough for you? Is it enough for you is the question. A vehicle's like a steak, miss. No right way to make it. Just gotta make it the way you want it. Aren't steaks supposed to be best cooked rare? Yuck, too wet. Just gonna make my lawnmower too wet? No, no, just right. I've got good news for you. It's about my lawnmower? You mean this lawnmower? Wow, that was fast, dude. The simple machine, miss. Shouldn't take any one more than a few seconds to build a lawnmower. Only there's a problem. Of course there is. I hate cynicism, miss. That's the problem with our generation. Excuse me? It's the darndest thing. All the pieces are there. It should work. But it's like, if I didn't know any better, miss, I'd say the machine doesn't want to run. How is that possible? Can't say, miss. I'm a humble engineer. I can build the things. But this getting into the question of whether machines have souls... I don't know how to get a machine to believe in itself. I don't know who could do such a thing like that. Well, thanks for everything.
Not here. Not here. Nor here. Not here. Baseball field. I need to get to the baseball field. Baseball field. This is not a baseball field. This is not a baseball field. This is a uh, corn field. About to say crow field, but that didn't sound right in my head. Yeah, here we are. I have a lawnmower that doesn't work. Can you help me with that? Doesn't work? No such thing. Won't work. Maybe it's just the like, the rest of these boys. Maybe it's tired. Maybe it's had a hard day. Maybe it's like, like to go back to bed. Well, I'm not standing here in the pouring rain so I can go to bed. I came out here to win a damn game, damn baseball game. Give me that thing here. Give him the lawnmower. The coach rips the lawnmower out of your hands and screams to the blades. You what? You're tired. I can't help you with that. We can't control that. We can only control one damn thing in our lives, you understand? One damn thing. So you tell me, yes or no, are you a baseball player? Y yes coach. Oh my gosh. Now you get out there and play. Yes, coach. Ah. This is the last damn time. Hey, it's over for you now, you goon. I went and made myself a llama or the beach is sickle. You speak of sticks and stones, tools only. There will always be Shadow Blues Traveler, and thus you will never be safe from me. My name is Ashley, you dingus. I need to know one thing. Where's Nick? Nick, what the hell? It's nothing personal, Ash. Oh, okay then. It ain't you, it's this gal I gotta kill. Blues. Why? Don't have a choice. Something goes way back. Got a debt to the shadows. That's just nonsense to me. You have to understand. Don't concern you. Now, I know it's awkward and all, but you mind if I slash you one more time? I think this one's gonna... This is the one that's gonna do it. Feck off! We're done. A long and confusing vision with several words and concepts you do not understand. You leave the machine not... A little less sure of yourself but in the world, but please nonetheless that the sickle's curse has been destroyed. Patrick, if, if you are you in there, Blues? That is, uh, is, is there a return address? Just says, I'll see you in 66 years. Hmm, never heard of it. Maybe it's in Utah? Take the lawnmower. Your lawnmower. Time to pit, pick a tenant for the last vacant storefront. Of course. Okay, jeweler, basement. Ah, the jeweler. Okay, let's get a move then. That's the last of the available spots. Thanks, Charles. Oh, I forgot something. Hey, did, did I? Okay, I already did all that. Never mind. Which means now we can call it a video here. I am the Blues32. This is Shadows Over Loathing. TTFN. Ta-ta for now.